Thanks, Shannon. Well, today is a great day for Kentucky and for the 6th Congressional District, well known as the horse capital of the world. As our leaders uh, from our signature equine industry have come together to solidify the future of horse racing for generations to come. There is no better time to make this announcement than in the week leading up to a rather unconventional Kentucky Derby. Throughout my time in Congress, I've worked diligently to enact policies that will promote economic growth and investment in this key Kentucky industry. Thoroughbred horse racing is not just part of our culture and our heritage. It is also a major source of jobs and economic opportunity for our people. In fact, the industry is responsible for 44,100 direct jobs and 16,394 indirect jobs in Kentucky. So we must secure its future. I've always believed that the future prosperity of this beautiful sport depends on uniformity of the rules of racing. Currently regulated by 38 separate racing jurisdictions, the horse racing industry labors under a patchwork of conflicting and inconsistent state-based rules governing prohibited substances, lab accreditation, testing, and penalties for violations, and is ne as in much need for certainty and reform to achieve safety, integrity, and fair competition. The proposal the speakers before me have outlined builds on the bipartisan legislation I have introduced in the House of Representatives each Congress with my Democrat colleague Paul Tonko of New York, who represents another great racetrack, Saratoga. And that has aided educating members about the industry and persuaded our colleagues that horse racing is a matter of interstate commerce and that Congress has the constitutional authority to regulate it. As I've said many times, this legislative effort is not about more regulation. It is about creating a single nationwide set of rules that will result in smarter, more effective, and streamlined regulation for the industry. Today's announcement is the culmination of years of work and negotiation to develop uniform racing standards under one independent regulatory authority. The effort in the House has been a long-term project and hard fought but that hard work and that persistence has paid off. The consensus we are here to announce and celebrate today not only accelerates our momentum, it is propelling us down the home stretch, and I'm confident it will advance the safety, integrity, and international competitiveness of American horse racing. I want to thank the coalition of organizations that have supported my legislation from the very beginning, including the Water, Hay, Oats, Alliance, the Jockey Club, Breeders' Cup International, Keeneland, the Kentucky Thoroughbred Association, Naira, Toba. But today I want to additionally thank Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell for his outstanding leadership on this issue, not only introducing companion legislation, but legislation that I believe materially improves on our bill by adding a focus on track surface safety and by making reasonable changes that have enabled us to enlarge our coalition of support and bring more organizations within the industry together in support of our legislation. In particular, I want to thank Bill Karstangen and the Board of Directors of Churchill Downs for working with our coalition and joining the cause, and for Dale Romans and others with the HBPA for sharing his influential voice in support of this legislation. And I just spoke with my co-sponsor, Paul Tonko. He and I agreed, and we hereby announce our intention to introduce a manager's amendment to our bill in the House to bring it into mirror image conformity with the bill Leader McConnell has introduced or is going to introduce in the Senate. The Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority established in the bill will be tasked with creating uniform national standards regarding prohibited and permitted substances for use in the horse, setting up an accreditation system for labs to test drug samples, and to develop regional standards regarding racetrack safety. Currently, the world of sports is engaged in a seismic shift, with nearly every professional sports organization making adjustments to their respective sports. Now is the time for the horse racing industry to do just the same, 
and to take this moment to embrace change that will not only ensure the safety of our equine and human athletes, but also attract a new generation of fans to solidify the sport for years to come. Today's announcement is a vitally important step in advancing reforms to protect our equine athletes and jockeys. It will also secure the thousands of both direct and indirect jobs in the 6th Congressional District and beyond that depend on a thriving horse racing and breeding industry. I look forward to continuing to work with Leader McConnell and the horse racing industry to bring this proposal across the finish line. Thank you very much.